wants to travel in Texas. Pole, sprint win, and his first Grand Prix victory. Guys, quick intro right here. This is Manuel. He is the crew chief for Vinales with Aprilia. You never know who you're going to run into when you come to MotoGP in Austin. He actually was the man behind Suzuki with Vinales and he actually won Austin with Rins and Suzuki. So uh, I really appreciate your you time. You have a good memory. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm a big fan. So good, good. it's great running into you and uh, let's see who else we run into, guys. Thank you. Bye bye, Duol. Well, speaking of Vinales, and you guys aren't seeing doubles, my older brother just landed from Canada, all the way from North Pole. And uh, it looks pretty cold, but let's warm up to the weekend, guys. Let's go pick up that loner car. It's a beautiful, beautiful BMW M5 CS. You guys are gonna say, oh no, not a BMW. Let's hope it doesn't break down. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous special edition car. If you guys don't know about this, I'll show it to you guys when the weather is a little nicer. I'm a little hungry right now. I'm gonna go pick up some food and then I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. I'm here at TJ Cycle, which is the local KTM dealer here in Austin, Texas. They have some really cool bikes. Unfortunately, as you guys know, KTM doesn't make any super bikes at all, but they do have some really cool bikes. Maybe we'll get one soon the 1390 bikes that they have. The Super Dukes are very, very cool bikes. But here's the thing, I don't think I mentioned it, but I got invited to MotoGP this year as a part of the KTM Red Bull MotoGP team. So I'm their guest. And uh, I wanna take this chance and make sure that I get some KTM merch so that I could get it signed and it will be on display on our media office. So let's go in here. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna pick up. Oh, he's actually putting the helmet away. Well, we, pick up, we picked up a helmet. We picked up uh, some water bottles, some hats. So next time you guys come to our media office, you guys can see it. And the people over here at TJ Cycle has been amazing, amazingly nice. And uh, I guess it's a Texas thing that everyone's been really hospitable, but this place is pretty big as I mentioned. And it's really, really cool. Well, here we are at our next stop at Ducati Austin. And uh, it's a lot of red and something really cool that I just noticed is if you take a look at the ground, all the parking lots lines are red as well. Let's go take a look. There's already a big presence of Ducatis here. And if you guys didn't know, Ducati Austin every year throws a pretty big MotoGP party. And look at this right away. We have a Desert X here. I don't know why, but I'm really drawn into these uh, Desert X bikes. I don't know if it reminds me of the Paris Dakar bikes that you see, but it's really, really cool. Let's go inside and let's check out what they have. Maybe they have a couple cool bikes in here. The infamous Ducati Austin. Right up in the entrance, we are greeted by a DLV4. It's no secret that this is probably one of my favorite bikes that's available right now. If you haven't ridden one, go ride it. But take a look at this thing right here. This is the or original Street Fighter. The OG in white. Looks really, really good. There's some really, really cool stuff. And this is what I love about Ducati dealers is when you walk in, it's so neat and tidy and all of them look the same. Don't hate me guys, but I just think just the whole branding and everything is very special. And look at this thing. This is, I guess, an 1199 that is really, really throwing some parts out of that is a BSB exhaust right there on it. And it has actually the new Super Legera wheels something cool that really caught my attention well this one right here apparently it is for sale man i love these things would be really cool to have one at motor million right i know it's older but i've always wanted one but here's the thing i want to show you guys this is the wheel off a of world superbike and how do I know this when I first saw it? It's got three bolts. This is the level of detail they go into stuff when they are racing that the less bolts it has, it means the less weight it has and they only run three bolts 
for the rotors on the super bikes and here's a little plaque saying that it is Chaz Davis's bike that was running this wheel and coming around over here look at this thing first time I see one in person the hypermotor mono and then another thing that I really like that I saw was I didn't know this but Ducati had these little memorabilia pieces that they sell they were selling some of the parts of their MotoGP bikes as memorabilia and this is the exhaust cam and this is the intake cam of the GP15 MotoGP bike this is really really cool stuff especially for someone like me or your Ducati fanboy as some of you guys call me which I'm not a Ducati fanboy but tell me these bikes don't look cool even something like this is so cool and so different from anything else that you could get and you don't have to spend a lot of money to get on a special looking bike like this I have not ridden one but I could tell you that is as fun as another Ducati that you were riding my Panigale V2 really made me realize that I don't have to be riding my SP2 to have fun I guess I have a challenge for myself for this Austin Motor GP 2024 remember these uh, exhaust cam shafts that I showed you guys well I did sucker up and get this one right here this exact one and uh, let's see if we could get Gigi Delaney the general manager for Ducati Corsa to sign this for us this weekend I want to do everything possible to get it signed so that we have it in our media office on display and uh, wouldn't it be cool so I guess uh, I made a challenge and I accept the challenge and let's try to see if we can make that possible guys Here we are in the paddock of the Circuit of the Americas. I got my good buddy Alexis here who lives in Miami and I see him more in Texas than I see him in Florida. And my brother's with me. Let's go look around and let's see who we can find and maybe get some signatures, guys. Well, we got our first autograph, guys, just like that. That over here is Jack Miller, the jackass. The signature on that brand new Shoei X14 KTM helmet. Now we got to get Brad Bender's signature here and maybe Pitt Byrus signature here. We'll see. Guys, I ran into Steve right here. He rides a Ducati and an RSV4 factory SU, yes, right? Sir. That's yeah. amazing. I love running into you guys and thank you all for the support and thank you, Steve. Thank you. Well, one more, guys. We got Davide Tarduzzi's signature on the camshaft of the 2015 Ducati Corsa Motor GP bike. If you guys don't know, Davide is the team manager for Ducati Corsa MotoGP team and if you ever watch MotoGP he has the best reactions when Ducati wins. Let's try to see, I'm trying to find Gigi, the team boss for Ducati Corsa who has made Ducati what it is today. I really would love to get a signature on this piece and I think it'll be great maybe to get the rider signatures as well. But we'll see guys, let's see what today has for us. This is the coolest thing about being a paddock guys. There's Davide Tardosi right there just walking past by. So it hasn't been long and it completed the duo guys. There you go Brad Binder, Jack Miller, the 2024 KTM MotoGP riders. Now we got to find the team boss to sign right here on the top of the helmet for us. That's Davide Brivio. Hi Davide. The boss for the track house racing team. He was the boss at Suzuki. Amazing. Well, let me show you something else, guys. And these guys are another level. They have their little carts with everything in it, with the souvenirs. Now, right behind here is the garage of the Ducati Corsa team. Even if I could get in, usually it's cameras off. They don't like cameras in there. We'll see if we could try to do it. And look at this, all the helmets, everything in here. This is the way to do it, guys. And right here, the highest paid rider of MotoGP right now, Fabio is giving an interview. This is behind the scenes stuff for you guys. And there's the team boss of Yamaha MotoGP team right here. There's just everyone, everyone around. This is just awesome. There's the man himself, Peko Banyaya, the current world champion. Peko, give us a thumbs up. There you go, that's just awesome guys. I'm having a blast and it hasn't even started yet. This is crazy. 
Yeah. Gigi. Gigi. A que hora? Can I get your autograph, please? Oh. Yes, you made this team, so. Amazing, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome, we got Gigi's signature. It's mission accomplished, guys. We got Tardozzi's signature on top that we weren't expecting to get that signature. But Gigi's signature is in the front. I think this memorabilia piece is done. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those guys that sells this stuff. This is going to our media office. It will be one of the memories from the 2024 MotoGP in Austin. I'm so happy. It's just, I just ran into this piece yesterday at Ducati Austin. I got my signatures today and we still have to go to the MotoGP party at Ducati Austin tonight. Well, we got another signature. This time, Jorge Martin. This was the collaboration between Anti-Social Club. I'm not a much brand person, but this guy right here, he's the one who got this for me. So thank you, Nima. And uh, thank you, Jorge, for signing this for me. This again is gonna be in our media office, guys, as a memory of the 2024 MotoGP in Austin. Guys, Pedro Acosta is there, let's go. So this place is usually, you can't just walk in, but luckily I can because I am the guest of the KTM MotoGP team that I get hospitality access. I don't wanna bother him, but let's try to see if he could maybe sneak in a signature on these gas gas bottles for us. And if you don't know who Pedro Acosta is, he is actually the the rookie of the year and has already caused a stir. He's gonna be the next big talent in MotoGP, I think, and a lot of people think so too. He's giving an interview, guys. I'm gonna let him finish his interview and then once he's done his interview, I wanna be respectful. And when you come here, make sure you're not just barging into places that you're not supposed to be. Be as respectful as possible. We'll wait till he's finished and then we'll get our autographs. I hope you win. So I that the king, so. the, the king of Koda is no longer, right? You're going to be the new king of Koda. <laughs> Thank you, Pedro. Good luck. Thank you, boys. Thank you. So here is Jack, probably the coolest guy on the paddock. Oh, no, no, and the nicest guy really on the paddock. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Well, Alesha is going to get us into the VR46 Yamaha Mastercam Moto2 garage. Well, here we are inside of the Yamaha VR46 Mastercamp Moto2 team. And uh, Alish, my friend, is actually from Miami as well. He's an architect, a designer. He actually designed the rider's helmet. He has an amazing motorcycle collection, which I'll show you another time. But here we are. We're going to be able to walk into the pits in a second. But uh, this is as cool as it gets, guys. We're right here in the pits of Circuit of the Americas. You hear bikes starting and they're getting everything ready. We are doing our own pit walk. This is the Grissini Moto2 team. How you doing? <laughs> I told you if you want to take the car for a drive, yeah. I'll be here. <laughs> nice to see you. I saw him yesterday while I was driving the M5 CS around. He said, nice car. And I told him, hey, you can take it around the track if you want. You might get fired, but I'd love to see that happen. So <laughs> good seeing you, man. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. This is just so cool, guys. As cool as it gets. It's the other side. Yes. You're in the other side. Yes, and I'm going to tell you guys, there's no grass here, but the grass is greener on the other side. And here are the pit boxes that they have to check everything on the bikes during the race. That's where the team stands. <laughs> Costa's garage right in here, right behind here. And this is Fabio Quattraro and Alex Rins's garage. It's just amazing. And each have two bikes. They have an A and a B bike. And you can see the new Krapovich exhaust that they fitted on these bikes for the season to get more power. What's up guys? Just ran into Andrew over here. It's really, really cool to meet you guys. And it's good to see the people that support us and watch our channel. Absolutely. Watch it every time you guys post a video. Amazing. You having a good time? Oh my god, yeah. That's insane. Just even though the track's not hot yet, I'm just seeing it. I want to ride it so bad. Possibly the best time to do the pad. Yeah. Amazing. Well, great meeting all of you. If you guys see me, come say hi. This is Andrew right here. I'll see you guys later.
There's Enea Bastanini himself. He actually won the race two years ago over here. When he won the race, he actually was not as known as he was until he got into the factory team, which is a big honor for anyone to be in the factory team. He was just giving some autographs. Look, people bring boots and everything. Well, here's Enea Bastianini, guys. I actually have a picture with Enea yeah. holding the, the cup for winning the race two years ago, walking down the pit lane. And you know what happened? It was beautiful. Yeah, it was amazing. You yeah. weren't here last year, but here you're here this year. Maybe we'll get another picture of you holding the, okay. the race winning cup. What do you want? <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> There's Maverick Vinales himself. Signed our Aprilia hats. My brother's a big fan of Maverick. I think he's the biggest fan of Maverick Vinales. These are his hats. Maybe, maybe he'll be nice enough to give me one of these. But uh, he's happy as a child. Look at him. He's so happy he got a picture with Maverick. Man, he got a sign for him from Maverick. Look at the <laughs> smile on his face. He's a happy, happy man. That's gonna be my garage. Thank you so much. What's up, guys? I have Ken right here. So Ken actually is gonna start his own YouTube channel too. It says Superbike Otaku, underscore right. Otaku, right? Right, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I'm waiting for your right. comments on my channel. All right, yeah, you'll see yeah. him. Superbike Otaku in your area. I don't know what's better, seeing the riders and meeting the riders or watching <laughs> to meet our viewers. So yeah, yeah. I love this, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, man. Well, here we are at the Ducati Loft on top of the pits and Moto2 was just out right now and the MotoGP practice FP1 is about to start. Let me show you guys real quick. They even, they even have a Bentley Diablo V4 or as I like to call it, the Avel V4 right here on display. I mean, it does look really cool because the body panels are completely different compared to the factory stock Yavel V4 that you could buy. And they also have the V4 engine on display right over here. And the exhaust, this is actually even cooler than the stock exhaust. And hey, take a look. This is not carbon, but they did paint it black. Let's see if we can catch some of the MotoGP F1 action, guys. Let's go. Good morning to me. It is Sunday and we're here in the paddocks of the Circuit of the Americas for the MotoGP's race day. And yesterday there was a sprint race that Vinales had won and today is in top form. He is, if the weather holds up, because it's a little cloudy, there's no rain expected, but if it holds up, he's the favorite to win the race today. We'll see if Marquez and Acosta are gonna be in podium, because those are the other two big names that we talked about. We have been in and out in some of the boxes here at MotoGP. It's been great. The KTM team has been very nice to us. And also we got into the Aprilia track house box. It's always an unknown where you're gonna end up in the paddock, because you can't just walk in and out, but KTM, since you're the Yes, of KTM MotoGP team. They've been really, really taking extra care of us. But let's stay tuned. Let's see what today brings us and let's see who wins the MotoGP of the Circuit of the Americas. in Texas, pole, sprint win, and his first Grand Prix victory for the factory. Oh, 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 Manuel! 
Manuel, en bueno ahora. Este está muy frío. <risa> Well guys, all good things have to come to an end and this was a fantastic race but over all and above it was a fantastic weekend for me I had an amazing time got to meet a lot of you guys which makes me really happy I really mean it I really really me like meeting every single one of you guys and uh, if you guys haven't watched the race this was an epic race you have to go and watch it it was even more epic than that final shots that you guys saw where Maverick Vinales and the Aprilia team are celebrating because it was a historic win. If you guys did not know, he is the first rider in history to win a MotoGP race with three different manufacturers. That's a big thing and he came back from 11th to win this race. But I guess this is the end of this vlog guys. Next time, I don't know where I'll be, what I'll be doing but you can be sure there'll be some motorcycles around me. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time.